Hi, I'm uh, Cliff Cheatham, Business Development Manager for Secure Power, and we're here delivering uh, a large generator project for Transporter for Greater Manchester. Today we're going to be lifting up a very large generator, 660 kVA, along with a 4,000 litre fuel bun for it. Uh, this will enable the building to run for about three days autonomously uh, and allow it to be uh, sort of a critical infrastructure project for Transport for Greater Manchester. I'm uh, Jonathan Morley, I'm the MD of Secure Power. For the company, um, it's, it's going to do wonders for, for the business. Obviously taking on large contracts like, contracts like this will basically allow the company to grow and prove what we're about, which is offering good, reliable products and services and obviously being able to deliver it on time as well. So you know, it's fantastic. Uh, my name's Antonio Perez. I'm the project manager, project lead for the generator project for Transport for Greater Manchester. Mark Robinson, property services manager. We've just project engineered a new 660 kVA generator for Transport for Greater Manchester for critical services and uh, happily with the wind, it's been a success. So now we're just integrating the transformer uh, with the transformer and the generator to finalise the project. Planning process, all good. Uh, carefully looked after and managed by Antonio, yeah, and including yourselves. Good job done by all, I'd say. The good thing is that it provides resilience to the organisation. We've got up to three days, stroke yeah, four, depending yeah. on fuel supplies. If we were to have a power outage in the area, then it would provide us, like say, three days. And this building is critical to Greater Manchester because we not only look after the transport infrastructure, it's all travel shops, some train stations, traffic lights, so it really would have an impact on Greater Manchester. I would say, as for working with Secure Power, we've had our challenges along the way due to the intensity of the project, but in all in all, it's been a good experience. A uh, big part of the job's done now, so um, both of the lifts out of the way, a few bits and bobs to fetch up, get the bowsers, get the fuel in. I'm really pleased with how it went, but we're going to push on now, get through the day and get this completed on time for the customer.